I promised you guys in my last video that I would do a makeup routine, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I have washed all my makeup off. You can see I have like dark circles. I didn't, oh great, it looks worse on camera, guys. I have like, you know, kind of red spots, acne, dark circles, red eyes, probably from the lack of sleep because of homework. But I will show you guys how I try to fix myself up. I do get comments that, oh, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I really don't. But as long as I don't look like a five-year-old child who put their makeup on in the dark, I am okay. I don't think I look awful. So I will keep on doing makeup the way I do makeup. And if you guys have any advice, that'd be great. But this is how I do it. So let's get on to the video. The way I start is I will wash my face first of all and my hands, but I don't. I've done that, so start with a clean face, no makeup from last night, you know, wash it all off before you go to bed. I, you guys saw this, BB cream, I mean, I've been trying different ways to put it on, so I don't know, just a little dollop on my hand, and I'm going to use this brush, and it's for foundation, but today it's BB cream. This brush does not blend very well, I used to have a beauty blender. I don't know what happened to it, it's gone. So I will really need to get one of those because I actually really like that a lot. But I don't use very much of this. I mostly, I don't know how I'm supposed to put this on, I just put it on. I can't really tell the difference. I don't know if it makes a difference. I do my concealer next. I don't, again, I don't use full face makeup. I just put it in spots that need a little help. So like under the eyes, I'll do three-ish dots. Um, my chin, and some spots. I have a cheekbone right there, and my forehead, just kinda, yeah. Again, it's not all over my face. So guys, I'm a teenager, I get zits. Every teenager gets them. Do you guys call them zits or acne? I wanna know, because I've, had, I've said zits and my friends are what? I call them zits, some people call them acne, but every teenager gets them, you'll never be able to get rid of them, can't cover them all up, but at least concealer takes the redness down. I do my blush next, again, please don't hate on me for not doing it right. This is how my mom taught me, so just get a bit on the brush and just on the cheekbone. Again, can't really tell any difference. The dreaded highlighter. It's highlighter. This is the highlighter brush. Um, my mom told me how to do this the other day. So just kind of like sweep it until you can see it and then kind of shake it. And just like on the cheekbone, like right there. And then she said extra, she puts like above the eyebrows and below the nose. Next, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I have done the same eyeshadow every day for the past three years. I do the same thing. I start. Me. How do people do this? I start with this orange with my base brush, the flat half moon one, and I put it over my eyelid. Just blending it in the crease. I don't use a ton. I don't just leave it at that. I use. Like I said, this has become one of my favorite brushes, and it's the Ingolish one. And I'll use this brown that I use, and I'll kind of dip it. And I just go in the corner of my eye, right here. I'll just apply kind of a brief coat of that. I don't try to blend it in at this point. And then I don't like to be the person that has eyeshadow coming out over my eye. So I try not to do that. So I'll just kind of clean up. Then so it's not a straight line of just orange and then brown. I have the blending brush and I just kind of blend it. If I were to curl my eyelashes, I would do it at this point. I don't put my eyeliner on before doing it because curling it kind of takes the eyeliner off. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do my eyeliner next. I Again, this is my favorite pencil. It's, you can obviously see it's really short. So I'm actually gonna sharpen it. We already saw what this thing can do, guys. Got my math homework done with that pencil. It took me a long time to figure out how to do eyeliner. I'm sure I could still do a better job. But I start 
on the inside of an eye and I don't do winged or super, I try not to do super thick. If it happens to be super thick, it's because I messed up. But I'll start on the inside and kind of half close my eye and just lightly trace a line to the end. And usually, you know, I'll kind of clean it up a bit. But I don't like it to be super over dramatically dark. Tight lining is something I learned about two years ago. Um, it was painful at first because I stabbed myself a lot, especially with the wooden pencil, that hurts. But you pull your eyelid up, sorry if this grosses anybody out, and you use eyeliner on the eyelid that's under your eyelashes. And it helps so it doesn't look like you missed any gaps when you put your eyeliner on. And it actually, I have been able to tell a difference. I don't put any eyeliner on my bottom eyeliner because I end up looking like a spider if I do that. My eyeliner is done. I do my mascara next. Again, I hate this mascara to the end of the world. What is the phrase? To the moon and back. I hate this mascara to the moon and back. But here we go. I try to get as low to the base as I can and see I hate this because it does it so easily it just like gets up there really easily and it's really annoying I try not to look like a spider when I do mascara I have my days bottom eyelashes are tricky I put a little bit on them I don't do as much as I do on the top but the way I do it is I just kind of touch again just kind of rubbing it through I have these three hairs like right there if you can see them and they don't stay down they f like flick out and no matter how much I put mascara on or how much I curl them I can't get them to go up with the rest of them and I've tried to pluck them out don't do that not a good idea don't pluck your eyelashes my aunt Bonnie taught me how to do my eyebrows I when I first started to do my eyebrows, my mom, I asked my mom to show me how, and she said, oh, just go watch a video of your Aunt Bonnie. So I went and I watched a video of how to do it, and you know, I think I did a pretty good job, considering I had never actually gotten a lesson from somebody. And then over the summer, I went and she helped me refine my skills. I use, again, the Anastasia pencil. It's in the color of taupe. It used to be soft brown. And my mom and I were looking the other day, realized it was too light for my face. So we got a shade darker, and now I use the one my mom uses. Eyebrows take a lot of practice. Again, I'm still not perfect at them. This eyebrow bugs me because I have one hole right there where no hair grows, and it's not on this side. So I try to work with it. But I start at the bottom, and... I don't start right at the line. See as it comes down, I start a little bit over and I draw a line straight across to the curve and then I comb down. And then I'll kind of draw a line going up and then a line over the top. And again, this eyebrow is shaped so weirdly, it's not even funny. But, you know, we try. And just very lightly draw in the front and the little hole at the bottom where no hair grows. And then after that, I'll take my brush and I'll just comb through it to blend the lines. This one is always, I always do this one first because I'd rather lower my standards on both of my eyebrows than spend like an hour trying to match this one to this one. So I start with the lowest quality one. It's the same thing. This one's easier to do. So, draw a bottom line, go down the tail, and I'll blend it. Why does my face look so red on camera? I promise it's not this red in person. I don't know why it looks so red. I take my eyebrow hairspray when I'm done, and I just kind of comb through it. They'll harden and they'll feel really weird. But they stay. The last step is to put lipstick on. I am going to do one that I would do mostly for church. And that is with my two Sephora's. So I'll start with the dark and just go along the bottom. Not a lot. And then the top. I don't know what's up with this camera, guys. It's making everything really red. Then the lip gloss on the just on the bottom. I don't put it on the top. I get some toilet paper a couple times. Thank you mom for letting me film your bathroom even though you don't know I'm using it but thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next video. Bye!